So for this next little video, we're going to be talking about the common names for alcohols. And this is quite a simple task. So first of all, what I'm going to draw or what I'm going to write down here is the general formula or the general way that we're going to express the common name of an alcohol. So we have to name the alkyl group that's attached to the OH group plus the word alcohol itself to indicate that this is an alcohol with its common name. Now, let's try a little example right here. We're going to draw methyl. And remember, methyl is the carbon. And here with this black dot, I'm representing that it's missing one of the hydrogens. So it wants to bond with something else. What is it going to bond with? With our functional group that I'm going to draw in purple, which is OH. So in this case, OH can appear. And when we put these two together, H plus that methyl group, we're going to get something very simple, which is OH. And then we just draw this to symbolize that there's a carbon chain. Or another way of drawing would be this. And another way of drawing it would be inverted right here. You can write it like this. Or in some textbooks, it might show up reversed, which actually would be a little bit more logical based on the bonding structure, but everything is the same. So here we analyze and we look at the structure and we say there's OH, hydroxy group. Hydroxy group is going to turn into the word alcohol. And what do we have attached to this hydroxy group? Very simple, methyl. So in this case, we have methyl alcohol. And we can honestly do the same thing, the same repetition with any type of alcohol. And we're going to do OH. I'm just going to draw some OHs up here so that we can draw a couple of alcohol molecules. And we'll see how they show up. So here, I take this one. And if I draw this, and then I can draw this one as well, one, two, three. Then maybe I'll draw this. And then maybe I'll draw one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, three, four. And we'll leave another one for the end. So right now, remember all these purple hydroxy groups are gonna turn into the word alcohol. And what's left is analyzing what alkyl group we have at each of them. So in this case, we have ethyl. Attached to OH, alcohol. Next we have 1, 2, 3 in a straight line. And propyl, alcohol. Then this one, 1, 2, 3. In antenna shape or attached to the middle. So this is going to be isopropyl, alcohol. This one over here, 1, 2, 3, 4 in a straight line. And butyl, alcohol. And here we have one, two, three, four attached at the secondary carbon. So we have segbutyl alcohol. And again, one, two, three, we have another one, four. And so it's four carbons, so it's butyl alcohol. But since it ends in this antenna shape, one, two, three, four to the sides, it's isobutyl alcohol. So as you can see, it's very simple. We analyze a molecule, we see the alkyl group attached, the OH turns into the word alcohol, and the rest is the alkyl group, ethyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, methyl alcohol, and it's that simple.